YouTube user Zeke the Antique Freak working on a H Wisconsin VH4. Uh, it's tied to a Kohler generator, uh, circa 1976, 10 kilowatt. That's a 10RM62. And this is uh, just a project. I don't really need it for much, but uh, but I've went through it recently and upgraded the gauges, uh, put another mag on, and uh, give it a good load test, and everything seems to be fine. Uh, to time the magneto, here's uh, the old one, and there's uh, a newer one that I put on. This is difficult in a way because uh, if you refer to my other video on the VE or VF, you have the, the fan is on normally, but this one here has, uh, it draws the air in from the top and blows it out that spout. Instead of the other way around where, they, where it would draw the air in the front end here and, uh, and blow it out the top past the exhaust. So anyway, so, so the original flywheel is not on, so I had to, um, haven't got the cover off, <laughs> makes it a little tougher. So anyway, uh, take number one spark plug out, rotate the engine in normal rotation, which is uh, clockwise from the front. Then uh, have your finger on the hole, wait for compression to come up, and then the mark on your flywheel. In this case, I didn't have a mark because of the different fan arrangement. So I was able to use a, a tie wrap or a piece of mechanics wire, reach in and judge where the piston was at the very top and uh, on compression number one cylinder. Then I marked the flywheel, there's a little tab in there, uh, or should I say the hub for the flywheel, I had the, all of this off. So anyway, at that point I know I'm at uh, top dead center number one compression, marked the, marked the fan hub, and then for the magneto itself, Get my little stool here. So this is the uh, type of magneto for the for the H. It is a, a reduction, and so the uh, the body, the armature of the magneto turns uh, the same rotation as the engine, and then with the reduction of uh, it turns. And looking at the end of the mag here, it goes clockwise. So this is the uh, the old mag, and you can see again that the uh, the shaft is not straight through, and there's a reduction, and it, uh, it rotates out in the opposite direction. This is the one for the E's and the F's, and it is th straight through, and it's got a funky wiring order because it's an uneven fire, and uh, <laughs> uh, that was a little confusion on the last one. There's another video on that to see how that works, and also it would let you know what the timing mark should like look like on this if it had the original flywheel. So there's an inspection hole here. We've got the engine set at top dead center, number one compression. We've got the mark on the flywheel directly to the top. And then, uh, so I would set the mag so that the pointer is uh, towards the number one area. And then I have taken, and I don't know if you can even see it, I've used yellow ch paint stick and marked the teeth that have an X on them. So when, when you mount the mag, you put the X so it's in the, you can just see it in the bottom half of this uh, inspection hole behind this bung here. And there's no other adjustments you can make. That's, uh, it's fastened so you can't, you can't set it so that you get a few degrees advance or retard. And that's about it. I put new spark plug wires on. I use this uh, plastic loom protection on it. I didn't bother running them in the housings like they had originally been. I just run them on the outside. Number one is the Looking from the front of the engine, number one is here, two is directly across on the other bank. This is number three, and then number four is the last one on that other bank there. And anyway, so that, uh, just because I've got an IQ of six, just enough to breathe, I marked these for myself. So number one terminal is here, it's also marked on the cap, and then the firing order is one, three, four, two. And that's about it, and you should be ready to rock. Now this wire, that should hook to the mag and uh, it would shut it off when you put the switch to stop. And I think there's a problem with that. I think there's a reason that's off. So this mag has a little tab that you can press on to kill it. It just shorts the points. Anyway, that's about it for the VH4D Zeke the D Antique Freak over and out.